Redmonds? Right. Redmonds, you have to come out, please. Right. It's time to share. Right. <laughs> Redmonds. Right. Come on. Right. Come on, don't be afraid. Right. Come out sometime. Right. All right. Just have a seat. Don't touch, okay? All right. Come on. Okay. <laughs> don't touch. All right. More? Have a seat. Okay. <laughs> Mr. Redmonds, welcome to Joliet State Penitentiary. I'm Mr. Sharps. I'll be your counselor today in your confrontation with the man who attacked you. Now, right. What we want to do today is to have you come face to face with this man and express a little bit of how you feel about your encounter with him. Now, you may find this a painful thing to relive, but are you willing to go through with it? Okay. Good. <laughs> Max, would you bring Lenny in, please? Max, would you check him out, please? Oh, yeah, sure. Him. Mr. Edmonds, we're just making sure there's no possible way that Lenny could have a weapon right now. <laughs> He's clean. <laughs> Lenny, do you have a seat? Shut <laughs> up! <laughs> <laughs> No gang signs, Lenny, please. No gang signs, all right? Now, Mr. Edmonds, I've reviewed, I've reviewed your case, and it seems that on a cool summer evening, you were taking the garbage out of your three-flat apartment down to the dipsy dumpster behind the apartment, and you, Lenny, were crouched behind said dumpster with an aluminum baseball bat. Right, and he jumped out and hit me in the face eight times. The report said seven. Uh, eight. Well, one for good luck. Now, Lenny, <laughs> what we need to find out is what was going on with you that night. Um, why did you do it? Well, basically, I got a lot of rage. Rage? Yeah. You know, the inner city, it's like a pressure cooker, and the lid's on real tight, and the flames are licking up underneath, and it can explode at any moment. <laughs> so, inner city rage. Yeah, I, I mean, I'm from the suburbs, but I assume that. <laughs> now, Mr. Edmonds, what we need to find out from you is... Why were you taking out the garbage? <laughs> the bag was full. I mean, look, what I don't understand is, is that he's going to get out in three years, but I'm not going to get my eye back in three years. Well, that's a good point. You need to find a way to express a little bit of the rage you're feeling. Now, Lenny, what you need to do is to realize how much pain you've inflicted on a fellow human being. Now, let's talk about emotions. When, when someone makes an emotional statement, I want the other person to, to echo, to repeat that statement. So let's start with you, Lenny. How do you feel right now? Confident and good. <gasps> Pissed off and swollen. <laughs> you have to repeat what Lenny says. So Lenny, let's try it again. How do you feel? Confident and good. Confident and good. Great. Okay, let's get to the reenactment. <laughs> we're gonna do it again? Yes, we're gonna do it again. Yeah. <laughs> We're going to reenact the attack. That way we'll all know what the night meant for us and hopefully move beyond it. Now, Lenny, I want you to crouch behind the dumpster and let the rage build up inside of you. Okay. Now, Mr. Edmonds... Uh, I, I had a bat. <laughs> Max, could he use your bat? Oh, yeah, sure. Great. Now, Mr. Edmonds... Uh, hey, hold, hold on just a second. I mean, this, this doesn't seem too fair. I mean, he's got a real bat and everything. I don't have any real trash. I'll make a load of it. Max, would yeah, you mind? No problem. Great. Thanks. Uh, what a doll. All right. Um, I was wondering if maybe I could play a little pot. Um... Wasn't there an old woman? Right, there was this old woman that watched him hit me in the face 48 times from a baseball bat. Oh. Yeah. Right. Great, how about your bandana? Thanks, Len. <laughs> Man, that's weird. He looks just like her. <laughs> now, Lenny, I want you to crouch behind the dumpster and let the rage build up inside of you like a poison. Okay. Mr. Edmonds, you take the garbage out and go. I thought what a lovely night to take out the trash. So I opened up the door and I went to the dumpster. Whatever you feel, Lenny. And I feel I it. Open it up. I was just... oh. Oh. How do you feel, Lenny? Go for it. Go. How do you feel, Mr. Edmonds? Go, go, go. Okay, that's good, Lenny. Lenny, that's enough. All right, that's good. All right, All right that's enough, Lenny. Calm down. Calm down. Now, Lenny, are you beginning to understand the kind of pain you can inflict on a fellow human being? Good. Let's do it again. Hey, oh, hold on a minute now. How about a little role reversal? I mean, you know, 
<laughs> okay, you guys switch. <laughs> now, uh, Max? Max! Yeah. I want you to crouch behind the dumpster and let the rage build up inside of you like a pressure cooker. I'm a crock pot. Great. <laughs> Mr. Edmonds, you take the trash out and go. I thought one of the night to take out the trash real fast. I flung that door and I went up there. How do you feel, man? I'm good. How do you feel, Lenny? Respond, Mr. Edmonds. Move. Respond, Mr. Edmonds. Wow, it's never gone this well before. Let's do it again. Hey, oh, oh, oh. hey, man, oh, man, man. Oh, I want to play the old woman. I don't see what that's going to get us, Mr. Edmonds. I do. All right, give him the babushka. But. Hey, can I be the mediator? Yeah, I'll be the guy with the bat. Okay. How's everybody feel? Confident. Oh, good. Good. Hey, I got an idea. Let's let the old lady take out the trash this time. Yeah! <laughs>